Have any of you ever been in a spot where you just, something happens and you question everything that you know about yourself and everything that you believe in? I have gone through that multiple times in my life already. I feel like the one, the first major time that I went through that was when I was 18 and I left the church and I kind of went the opposite. I was raised Pentecostal Christian and I ended up being atheist for like six months until I realized that I had to believe in something. I just, being atheist was the darkest I'd ever been in my life and I'm no longer religious but I am still a very spiritual person. I have a lot of pretty woo-woo beliefs and recently I have been through just, it's like thing after thing after thing and sometimes it's like you reach a point where it like breaks you down completely and it's, you don't know what to believe in anymore. I think that a lot of people know what that feels like and it's like a dark and chaotic place to be in. If you follow me on my channel already, you know that I have like some mental health issues that I do believe in like some spirituality and stuff like that. I was nomadic for four years. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Sharice and I do encourage you guys to like and subscribe. But I went through something. I had a little bit of a meltdown <laughs> today, to be honest. Like, oh man, it's kind of like the, the meltdown that like, it doesn't make me want to fuck up my life, but it definitely makes me want to do something really intense um i <laughs> surprise guys i shaved my armpits it looks oh my god that's so weird it's so fucking weird if you already follow me you know that like i don't really shave my body here i uh, did shave my legs like a uh, three or four months ago and then like three months before that i also shaved my legs i am like pushing myself to not shave my head again i'm like no girl don't do it. Don't do it. Do not shave your head again. I've been trying to grow out my hair for like five years and I am just like, I just keep shaving it. I've already shaved it five times. If you'd like, you can check out, I have a video actually on my channel. I'll put a link in the description to it on one of the times that I shaved my head. There's actually quite a few videos that I posted multiple of the times that I've shaved my head. But uh, this is something that I do when I have, like, really, really intense meltdowns. <sighs> I think it, it might be considered mania. Um, it might be, honestly, because I do deal with a lot of bipolar and bipolar mood swings. And so this might be considered mania. Um, it doesn't really feel like the feel-good type of mania that I actually enjoy a lot of people who are bipolar will actually say that they enjoy being manic because it makes you feel really high most of the time so I don't know if this is mania or if I am just having like a severe meltdown right now from what I am like going through in my mental health what but whatever this is I am just I don't even know I don't know I don't know what to think about myself I don't know what to think about my life and I don't know what to think about my beliefs. It seems like just one after one, my dreams have been crushed. Things that I want to do with my life have been crushed. And my beliefs have been crushed over and over. Just, oh man. I'm at a point where it's getting very overwhelming. Um, how many things seem to be falling apart? around me and inside of me. I am to a point now where I am ready to be medicated and I am writing a, a note to my psychiatrist. I have not found one yet. I have been putting it off because I am kind of terrified of being medicated, but I had like a break recently where I realized that I think my mental health issues are worse than I give them credit for. And sometimes the reality check can be really, really brutal. This is one that feels really brutal. I literally shaved my armpits. I don't think that I have shaved my armpits in 
possibly over two years. Um, I already miss them. I'm like, what the fuck did I do? But at least I'm not shaving my head. I'm like, please, Sharice, leave it alone. Leave it alone. I am really trying to have self-control right now not to shave my head. Please don't tell me to shave my head because if you guys encourage me to, I will probably do it. And I'm not going to hate on it if I do it. I would probably do a mohawk again or possibly like a mullet. I don't know. It's not that long right now. It's struggling. I've been struggling to grow it out this last time. Um, I think I, w I went through a period of having really intense nutritional deficiency because uh, some months ago, I lost my appetite completely and I was eating like struggling to eat even like a hundred calories a day and it made my hair basically stop growing or just grow grew really really slow so it over the past couple months I have been eating more nutrients fruits and vegetables and it started growing again so I'm like please don't cut your hair Sheree it's like you're okay I don't know what the hell is happening in my life right now what I know is that I am ready to get medicated for some of the mental health issues that I have that I don't actually share with pretty much anybody. I don't tell anybody in my life about these specific mental health issues that I am ready to be medicated for. Um, and that's a really big deal to me. And I'm like, maybe this is part of why um, I needed to have this experience break me down because maybe maybe I do need maybe I just need to be medicated to fix whatever is wrong in my brain <laughs> I have no idea where my life is headed honestly I feel like my life is such a massive shit show a lot of the times I feel like a worthless piece of shit <laughs> I still haven't made any friends here and it has been four months I'm just like what the fuck what is going on what is going on in my life I feel like I'm going nowhere. <laughs> and I feel like every time that I think that I'm getting better, something happens. And it's like a spotlight that says you're worse than you think you are. <laughs> like a spotlight is just shining on the most fucked up, broken pieces of me. And I'm like all about that like belief like we're not broken we don't need to be fixed and and then there's times like this that I'm like I don't know I feel pretty fucking broken right now I feel so broken that I don't feel like I can talk to anybody about it because of how insane I feel I don't want people to know about this at least I don't want to fuck up my life <laughs> I did think for a moment about going buying a big bottle of alcohol and I was like what is that gonna help that's literally not gonna do anything it's just gonna make you sick there's no purpose in that and that does honestly that was like a split moment of like wanting to do that and I don't actually want to do that it just doesn't actually find, sound appealing or helpful in any way whatsoever. So I'm just going to keep chugging, guys. Chug a lugging on my way. <laughs> While feeling uh, whatever this is that I'm feeling right now. Oh my goodness. I'm looking for another job. Wish me luck on that, guys. I've applied at some places, so. I am just gonna keep making my way. Doing my best with what I have right now, with where I'm at. Get fucking medicated, because at this point, I think that I... I think that I need that. I have been in this, like, back and forth about it for, like, the past six months to a year now about feeling like I needed to get medicated actually having that reality check with myself and times like this I'm just like no I don't know what else to do to help myself I don't know what else to do to fix and 
rewire or heal that part of me. Because I keep doing the same thing and I'll be aware of it and then I'll be in denial of the awareness of what I'm doing and maybe sometime, someday I will feel open to sharing with you guys what exactly this is. I think that I am going to have to work through and release a lot of shame around it and fuck, I'm going to be okay though. (laughs) I am like all over the place, man. If you follow me for a while, you probably already know this. I am like, one of my things about this channel is that I want to be vulnerable and open with you guys about the highs and the lows. And it is insane how fast I can go from putting out something really positive to like putting out something that's like, I am just falling apart (laughs) right now. I have no idea what's going on in my life. Lately, I think it has been a little bit more on the, I don't know what the hell is happening in my life, but I'm handling it um, better than I feel like I should be. I am, I think that I'm, I'm, I'm staying very coherent and for the most part stable minded. I think being sober right now is really helping me with that. So I don't understand what's happening in my life. But I will say I am just constantly praying for something really, really good to happen for me. I think a lot of people need that. I'm trying to remain positive um, about all the, the positive things I have going on in my life right now and focusing on that and So that's what I'm going to do is focus on those things as much as I can because I can't get pulled into a dark spiral and stop taking care of myself. I've worked so hard to get to this point. I gave up a nomadic lifestyle to try and create stability in my life and sometimes I'm looking at this and I'm just like, this isn't what I wanted. (laughs) To be honest, over the past couple months, I've really been questioning if this is like the right place for me. If I've been here for four months and I'm struggling this hard to make any friends. Okay, guys, I think that is going to be it. I'm just going to keep crying on here (laughs) if I keep making this video longer. I don't know what else to share. I feel like that's it. I had a meltdown. I don't know where the hell my life is going. It feels like everything is falling apart. Even when it's building up, it seems like the things that are building up are falling apart too. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. I don't think anybody knows what the hell they're doing. At least most people. And I'm tired of my bullshit. (laughs) My bullshit that I don't even know how to change at this point. Um... But yeah, guys, <laughs> I hope that you have an amazing and a beautiful day. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for being here with me. I love you and I believe in you. See you next time. <laughs>